Hey, what's up, guys? It's your man for you. I'm again back with a new guide for Starfield, in which I'm going to share everything you need to know to safely board enemy ships, take all the loot, possibly even steal the ship and have it for yourself. As in the past couple of days, I saw a lot of questions related to this. People had problems to target the engines or to safely put them to a halt before the ship explodes entirely. Especially on higher difficulties, this can be problematic. This guide will help you to do so with ease. So without further do let's get right to it <laughs> solid ducking jump right there oh boy all right so first off we're gonna need some upgrades requirements which are gonna make boarding of enemy ships possible without the right weapons or skill upgrades it's not gonna be possible so be sure to pick up these first the skill you need can be found in the tech tree which is called the targeting control systems and this unlocks ship targeting functionality so you can specifically target the engines of a ship safely put it to a halt and board it afterwards while you're also going to need specific weapons for this otherwise you're probably just going to end up destroying the ship before boarding is possible for these weapon upgrades you're going to need to visit one of the towns for a ship technician i recommend you to visit alpha centauri jamison atlantis and go to new atlantis quick travel this one right here so this is where you land with your ship at the very beginning of the game as well. And this is where you can find the ship services technician. You're going to interact with this guy and say that you want to view or modify your ship. And now we're going to search for a specific weapon. Enable ship building so you can attach new things to your ship. You're going to search for a place where you can mount weapons. Right here, you will find all different types of weapons which you can put on your ship. Most of them are amazing to deal a ton of damage to hulls or disable shields while we want to search for a specific type of damage not hull damage not shield damage instead we want to search for electromagnetic damage because this specific type of damage is going to take care of disabling those engines so much easier so if i just exit the ship building right here you can see that i have two of those suppressors on the side of my ship which is the weapon type you want to have Another amazing place to upgrade your ship would be the key of the Crimson Fleet in Crix. This place is filled with different types of vendors. And on the left side right here, you can find Jasmine Durand, who also gives you access to all sorts of weapon upgrades. Right here, you can purchase many different ones, which I think are going to be awesome to hunt other ships. Some of those require starship design skills though, which is a little bit more difficult to get access to as it can be found pretty far in the tech skill tree. The next thing we're going to do is visit one of the major towns or your own outpost to pick up a couple quests so we can hunt for enemy ships. I definitely recommend you to focus on Crimson Fleet ships as these also have contraband inside many enemies which will have high value loot which you can sell for a ton of credits. When at your own outpost, you want to build a mission board because these give you access to different kinds of missions very quickly. With a self-service bounty clearance, you can also get rid of bounties, but on the mission board, you will usually find different ones to destroy Crimson Fleet. This time, we're going to have to take out a hunt at Olympus. So always pick up as many of these quests as possible and instantly enable the tracking. If you open up your lock, these can be found in the mission tab right here. Destroy the Crimson Fleet Haunt and Crimson Fleet Reaper R2, which I currently have active. So let's travel to Olympus and search for the Crimson Fleet. All right, so here we have a friendly Crimson Fleet starship. As I sided with this faction, but don't worry, as long as you take out all the witnesses, you will stay friends with them. It's pretty ironic. I can just revisit the key, sell all the loot I get from this Crimson Fleet ship, all the contraband back to the Space Pirates. Anyways, what we're going to do right now is select the ship. So if you do that, you will start locking onto it. It's very important that before you engage combat, you want to allocate all your ship parts with the right energy. So I already have a nice amount of damage with my lasers, my EM, my missiles, but I actually want to crank this down a little bit so I can put the maximum in shielding, which I always recommend, especially on high difficulty. Right now, we want to get as close as possible. 
Of course, if the ship is hostile, you won't have as much time. Just prepare yourselves for the battle. But uh, the next thing we're going to do is the target lock. So right now we can see all the different parts the ship has. Power in missile weapons. We also have the engines, shield, as well as the grav drive, which allows them to jump away very quickly. So the first thing you want to do if you want to make this fight a little bit easier is take out their weapon systems. Sometimes there is a pretty annoying bug which doesn't allow you to target lock. So in this case, I'm just shooting, 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 shooting. And then if I use my target lock, I can't left or right click, which can be pretty frustrating. So in this case, what you want to do is just quick save the game because you can basically debug it if you reload it afterwards. Don't restart the game. It's only going to take a lot more time. So just bind your quick save to F1, let's say, quick load to F3. So here we are back in action, locking out to the enemy ship. The closer you get, the easier this will be. And we're going to first focus on taking out those weapons. If you use your EM, you will see those bars go down super fast. If the ship has some shield, what you can do is just fire all the different weapons you have because this will allow you to disable those so much faster. You can see those bars right there. Now we can focus on the missile. We're going to use our laser. We're going to use our electromagnetic. So right now, both weapons are already disabled in just a couple seconds. So now we can focus on taking out the engines. Use your electromagnetic primarily. You could use some ballistics as well, but especially electromagnetic is gonna be super effective to take out any parts of the ship. So now it's just floating in the sky. It cannot do anything. It's locking on me, but I can just keep disabling every part of it without a problem with these electromagnetic tools. Of course, after some time, it will do some repairs. So in that case, you're gonna have to re-disable everything it can be pretty frustrating to finally get the boarding prompt. Most cases it will just say heal. But then you basically just want to continue firing on the ship. Take out as many systems as possible. Then if you get close enough, re-enable the target lock and get very close. Then the prompt will usually pop up. Every time when I duck with this method though, it always looks pretty funky. I mean, look at this right here. Air integrity looks good. Probably the worst duck ever, but now we get the chance to board the ship. So next thing you want to do is enable your scanner because, of course, we can find plenty of contraband on pirate ships. So be sure to loot every single one of those crates. I also think using a shotgun in these cases is going to make clearing the ship so much easier as you can just use a couple shots currently on hard difficulty. And this can take out the fleet in no time. Last witness killed removed the bounty and we've completed the mission. So we get some pill ale, we've got some credits right here. I'm not gonna pick up all the trash, but uh, definitely make sure to also focus on the captain's locker. And yeah, after you've taken down all the crew members, you can sit down and take over the ship. Well, in this case, it's a pretty big downgrade. So what I'm gonna do is just target the ship and finish it off. So I can possibly get my hands on some space loot right here. My next mission in line was to destroy a Crimson Fleet Reaper. Slightly more difficult ship, while it only took me seconds if you use the right sequence of weapons and focus on specific parts of the ship first. First go for the weapons, then the engines. This is going to make boarding extremely simple. Voila, last witness killed and we also leveled up to 24. Unfortunately, we won't be able to steal this ship just yet as we're going to need an upgraded piloting skill, also from the tech tree. If you rank this up to rank 3 or 4, you'll be able to access class B and class C ships. Steal and register them for yourselves, maybe even sell them for some extra quick buck. While if you don't meet the requirements, I recommend you to just undock, destroy the ship for some extra loot. All right, so there you have it. Everything you need to know to disable ship engines, board it with ease, take out all the crew and steal the ship for your own. If you found this video helpful, please do leave a like as it did take quite some time to prepare this video. Very much appreciate it. If you want to stay in the loop with future videos, don't hesitate to subscribe as a lot more Starfield is coming your way. Questions or video suggestions, leave me in the comments down below. Right now though, it's 4am out. I want to wish you an amazing day. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.